up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here of Marty Music. Thank you so much for the continued support. We're going to do the Eagles' Take It Easy, and this was a special request. So I want to hear other requests from you guys. So if there's another Eagle song, I want to know the next Eagle song that you guys want me to teach. Whether it's your favorite or one you're dying to learn, go ahead and leave it in the comments below. I also appreciate you liking, sharing the videos here at my channel. So thank you so much. Let's zoom in and break it down. Here we go. All right, so there's a little intro and we can do all down strums like. So we're going to play a G major chord with the ring finger and middle finger. So third fret, second fret, pinky on the third fret of the high E. So that's the first chord of the intro. Then we're going to keep our ring finger and pinky finger on the same spot for the next two chords. The next chord is called a C over G. And we move our middle finger to the second fret of the D string and index finger to the first fret of the B string. So you have the G chord, then the C over G. So it's that. Then the third chord, you just move your middle finger over to the second fret of the G string. We could call that A minor over G. That's probably the best name for it. Okay, so G. Then the C over G, then middle finger moves over. Back to the top. So that's that nice, breezy 70s LA night, perfect for a concert of soft, country-ish rock and roll. Uh, and we've got a strum pattern to go with it. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down. And the song's going to have lots of G's, C's, D's, you know, all the classics. They're all there, all the hits. So we got G, C, and D. We're going to have some E minors and A minors. And those are, you know, all the beginner chords you want anyway. So let's get into the verse. You can play that strumming pattern. And it's going to start on G, so check it out. Here we go. I was G and G G G G G G G G G. I got G D C. Now I like to vary my rhythm. You know, let it flow in and out. Maybe a couple extra strums because um, I've been playing a long time. But you can use that beginner pattern to start with. So. Here we go, the G chord. I've been G, 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 I got G, D, and C. G, D, C, back to G. So here it is again. So that's the first verse. Then we go to Take It Easy, which is going to be E minor, and it stays on E minor for that um, whole Take It Easy line. Take it easy, take it. He says, take it. And then the next easy is E, 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 Z, C to G. So take it E minor, and take it C. G. Don't 
let the A minor to C, then E minor. So that's where we come in with the A minor, C, then E minor for a little bit. So let's do it from the top of the verse. E minor. E minor. E minor. C. G. Don't let the A minor to C. A minor to the C. Drive you E minor. One last part. C to G. You can C. You can G. C. Back to G again. So a double, you know, a repeat of C to the G, C to the G. And then now we're going to do that A minor thing again. A minor to the C. Take it easy. Second verse. So let's do the whole thing from the top. Try and play with me. We're going to do that intro. G. C over G, A minor over G, again. C over G, A minor over G, hold on G strumming pattern. Now the verse comes in. Da, ba, da, 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 I got G, D, C. Now G, G, D, G, 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 D, 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 C, C. Back to G. Now E minor. A minor, A minor to the C, E minor, E minor, C back to G, you can C, new G, E, then C again to the G, now A minor, A minor to the C, take it E, say, yeah, do, 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 second verse is the same as the first, G, D, C. G, 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 D, 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 C. Back to G. So that was the exact same thing. And now the chorus, the second chorus, is the exact same thing. But instead of take it easy, they're saying, come on, baby. And there's an extra D chord in there. So the first chorus, it just holds on E minor for longer. The second chorus is, come on, G, uh, sorry, come on, E minor, to the D, then the C, everything else is the same, G, A minor, to the C, E minor, all the stuff is the same, to the C, C, to the G, again, C, 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 to G, A minor again, A minor, to the C, then the G the guitar solo so let's talk again about the second verse and that following chorus just so you can see the different chord now if you only watched the first few minutes of this lesson that went through the verse and chorus you're going to be good but there's just a little variation so it's uh second verse is the exact same Now here's where it's different, E minor to D instead of E minor for twice as long. E minor to the D, then the C to the G. A minor to the C, then the G chord, oh, E minor. You can't C, but you can G. C again, G again, A minor. The solo is over a playing just like the verse and chorus. There's a solo over that. Then there is 
a uh, third verse. And this is where they just change it up a little bit. I mean, it's almost identical. So you have the third verse would be... So all it does is it plays the, the verse the exact same way, but that first C chord is just substituted for an A minor. So that last verse. Like a G, D, A minor. Everything else is the same. Uh, And then the final, this final chorus is just the, exactly like the first chorus. C to G. Don't let A minor to the C chord. Try B minor. You can C. You can G. C G. A minor. And a break on G. A little vocal harmony there. And then there's the ooh, 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 ooh kind of thing. And all that is is just C to G for the oohs, the ooh, ooh parts. And then finally, uh, they just change up the end there, and it's going, uh, the bass is going. G to C, but the guitar is. Take it easy. want to play an F chord. So you go G, F, C. But when you play the F, the bass is still playing a G note. That's all. So if, if you're not sure on the F, I think the best way would be ring finger third, pinky third, middle second, index first. So that would get you the whole song and let's take it, uh, take it easy. How about that? Why don't you guys all take it easy? Want to play it one more time? Here we go, from the top. Here it comes. on E minor, now C to G. A minor, C, E minor, C back to G. A minor, C, G, and there's holds on G. Second verse, same as the first, G, D, and C, G, D, C, back to G, E minor, but now extra D, C, to the G, A minor, to C, E minor, C to G. minor C G guitar solo over the verse and the chorus then we get to the third verse which is exactly the same as the first except we substitute that C chord with an A minor so third verse is 
almost the same as the first G, D, A minor though Everything else is the same D, C, back to G, a long E minor A minor, up to C, E minor, you may C, you may G, again, to the G, A minor, break, new section is just C to G's, there was the lesson thanks again for spending some time with me once again uh, this is marty music it's my channel and i appreciate you supporting me here uh, liking sharing the videos spreading the word on marty music thank you so much also just quick reminder let me know the next eagle song you'd like me to teach right in the comments below thanks again and i uh, hope to see you real soon take care